All morning long, we have announced the 15 semifinalists of Duval County's next Teacher of the Year awards. So we still have five more to go. So stay tuned. We'll announce the rest here during the 8 o'clock hour and also during the 9 o'clock hour of the morning show. Rachel Tutwiler Fortune, though, in the meantime, the president of the Jacksonville Public Education Fund that puts on quite a show for these <laughs> educators is with us this morning. Um, we know how important our teachers are. I have two little ones. I send off to school every day in yes. trusted hands. I just appreciate the work that goes into it, the dedication, the patience, everything that goes into being teachers. And these truly are the best of the best. The best of the best. And we're so honored at the Public Education Fund to hold up just how important a role they play in our community. Mm -hmm. You know, teacher appreciation is crucially important and we don't do a good enough job of recognizing educators. This community tries to turn that on its head. You know, mm -hmm. nationally we were looking at a survey that said only 25% of educators said that they had been appreciated. Wow. And we were like, in we Jacksonville, gotta we gotta do something. Yeah, so I mean, this is a whole thing. Yeah. You know, we have 15 that we'll announce today. That'll get whittled down to five. And actually at that point, you go into the classroom. We have video of our Teacher of the Year winner last year when you guys went in to see him. Um, just love this guy, a young teacher. Um, Guzman, I know it was his last Gustavo. name, Gustavo Guzman. <laughs> I mean, he was so cool. Yes. And you could just see, though, that his students just loved him, a biology teacher at Terry Parker High School. Um, so what you're seeing now is you going into those classrooms and just surprising them any way, shape, or form you can. That's right. How special is that moment? It's so special. And they're treated like the rock stars that they are, yeah. truly having a transformative impact. And, you know, they get to see and feel how much this community and all of the educators and uh, business partners that are a part of it value them. Value them. Yeah. How are, how are they selected? How do you all, what's the process? Yeah, we engage diverse volunteers from across our community. This includes educators themselves, business leaders, community leaders. They serve on these area selection committees and have an opportunity to consider, again, the best of the best. We have like 180 or so teachers who are nominated each year from their schools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't envy the work of those committees because it must be the most difficult thing to decide who should emerge as the top 15. Yeah. And then from there, we have a final selection committee that's really carefully considering who among the 15 should be the top five. And I'll just have to say, what I love about what you do here is that you really celebrate all the teachers who are the teacher of the years for their school. That's right. Then down to these 15, and then ultimately the five, and then the one. Because that day for the Eddie Awards is so much fun. Um, here he is, Gustavo, <laughs> receiving his award. Um, but it truly is just a party atmosphere, and we know how hard these teachers work. That's right. No, I mean... We're very big believers that we have to celebrate, elevate, and um, hold up just the amazing work that our teachers are doing every day. And that's why the Eddie Awards is such a special event. I like to call it the Oscars of mm -hmm. Education in Duval County. Well, they get a car. That's right. Yeah, I mean, like, let's not forget. <laughs> I mean, that, so when you think about, you know, I know this is separate from the county, yeah. um, that there's money in to do this, and then sponsorships. Oh, yes. I mean, which is key to this. It's huge. And so we're so thankful for all of our sponsors sponsorship partners, including ViStar, which is our title sponsor for every the Eddie Awards, team, yeah. all of our finalist sponsors, and every partner who's locking arms with us to say, yes, we understand how important our educators are, and we want to be a part of celebrating the amazing work they're doing for our students and yeah. our community. You know, since I have you here, you know, a lot's changing in our schools and a lot of talk about um, just the culture in schools and, and grades, especially in Duval County. What, what message do you have for parents, you know, who send their kids to school every single day, um, knowing that there's such great work going on? Yeah, I think it's just so important that parents understand that when you walk into that school environment, we're reminded of how hard educators are working each and every day on behalf of our students. Regardless of kind of what's happening in the broader sort of context and, you know, what thoughts may be on particular issues, when you walk into that school, you, know. you see yeah. what's happening. Our students are are being educated by the best of the best and um, we want to make sure that our educators are being retained and that they stay in the profession because they're playing a critical role in not only the individual life of a student but also in the long-term success of our community. Yeah. All right. So show your teachers some love, parents and students, no doubt about it. All right. Cannot wait. The final the finalists will be announced later this month. Is that yeah. true? And then the Eddie Awards are scheduled for. The Eddie Awards are scheduled for January 18th. Okay. The finalists will be announced um, in de at the top of December. Okay. All right. Well, the fun <laughs> is only just beginning. And again. We saw five more semifinalists to announce, so watch it live here on The Morning Show. Thanks, Rachel, for coming Thanks. in.